Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. The company that runs day-to-day -day operations for the Pritchard Water Board announced plans to stop working with the group at the end of the month. As News 5's Chad Petrie reports, the board is begging for a second chance. Three out of the five board members of the Pritchard Water Board vote to ask Severin Trent for a second chance. That's left up to uh, them being willing to listen and not give demands. They're asking the company to continue running day-to-day -day operations for another six months. Recently, the UK-based company announced it was ending its association because they're still owed $2 million by the water board. Even though board members want the partnership to continue, the chairman indicated there was friction with Trent, and it's their fault they're not getting paid on time because Trent also controls the billing. I don't think meetings should, you know, uh, contractors should be dictating to us as board members like we don't know what we're doing. Not getting the job done properly, the inconsistency in the finance, you know, things being done to keep the money coming in to where we can pay them on time and stuff like that, you know, that's got us into that, you know. If Trent turns them down, there's plan B. The board voted also to hire roughly three dozen Severn Trent workers if the water board has to go back to running the utility. Obviously, we're at the last minute here, and the, the board has, that's what they thought was best, so we'll work with what they have. Board attorney Jay Ross says no matter what happens Monday, water service won't be interrupted. In Pritchard, Chad Petrie, News 5. News 5 got an email response from Severn Trent this afternoon. A company spokesperson says they're considering the extension request. The spokesperson also says the board hasn't provided any evidence they're failing to properly bring in billings.